Welcome into Friday Night Football on 13 WREX. I'm Josh Schumann. The two largest schools in the Nick 10, Hananiga and Harlem, resume their rivalry tonight, both with 2-0 records and conference title implications on the line for our FNF Game of the Week. Friday Night Football's Game of the Week is brought to you in part by Feldco, Rockford's home renewal experts. There's Storm the Husky getting ready to see his guys on the field. I don't think he was a fan of this start though. Opening kickoff to Hananiga is caught by Jesse Longstreet who finds a lane, almost taking it all the way before a touchdown saving shoestring tackle from Harlem. Hard to beat that field position and hard not to make something out of it. Brock Anderson takes a handoff straight to the end zone, 6-0 Hano. Harlem trying to respond on their opening drive. Play action pass is thrown way up into the sky and Brady Jarvis comes up with a moss at DB. A beautiful interception to get the ball back. Hano student section getting louder and louder away from home. Again, a great spot to start from for the Indians. Curtis Smith coasts through multiple arm tackles on his way to a 28 yard score, 12-0 Indians. With around six minutes left in the half, Hano dominating in possession again. QB Dominic Kelly takes it himself. Tribe is rolling up 18-0. Now looking at four minutes to play till half and Hano just relentless with their run attack. Anderson taking a handoff at midfield and there he goes again, 44 yards to make it 24-0. The Huskies needing to scrape together any kind of points they can before the break and not many better guys to rely on than Jamani Muhammad catching a wheel route out of the backfield and taking it to the crib. A much needed score for Harlem, 24 to six. And with four seconds left in the half, Hano gearing up for another score, but it's picked off by Jackson Cook, 104 yards to the crib, right when time expires in the half. But that wouldn't be enough for Harlem. Hano takes care of business, 38 to 14.